Um, rounding up our rounding up our categories just simply because uh, we do we do need four, so we'll just get a couple of sentences on each. Um, the other two people in this in this list are Becky Lynch and Kenny Omega. Uh, Becky's obviously the heel champion on WWE, and Omega spent the whole year as champion in AW. I'm sorry, uh, Becky Lynch and who? Becky Lynch and Kenny Omega are the last two in this category. I I don't think Becky Lynch has been playing the role of a heel long enough. I don't, I don't, she's again, I think Becky Lynch is one of the most interesting performers in the industry today. I'm a big fan of Becky Lynch, but just take, for example, her most recent, you know, I guess we can call it a storyline. It was so short. It was more like a three-part angle. You know, to me, a storyline has a little more structure. It plays out a little bit longer. There's a little more, um, uh, more of an arc. There's a lot more to it to a storyline than what we saw out of Becky Lynch and Charlotte. But here again, you've got two characters, Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Who was the heel in that story? Right. I mean, that was confusing to me from a storyline perspective. No, I love the match. and I love what they each did. But to me, it was like two heels. I, I didn't, I, 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 who was I rooting for there? I was, you know, obviously I've known Charlotte since she was a little kid. So part of me wants to, you know, root for Charlotte and want Charlotte to be successful and, you know, advance in her career. But the way she came off, the way she went about everything, she was kind of a bitch as a character. And Becky Lynch is playing the role of a heel. So where's the heel? Where's the baby face? And maybe it's just me. Maybe I've lost all perspective. But just well, that that was a heel versus heel thing that they that they were doing, and it, and it, they had to build it off just being very personal with each other. But that that was not just um, for the TV. I think there was a real issue there. But uh, Was yeah, it? Was it? Do you know that? I've been told it was from speaking to a couple of people, yeah. but Okay. <laughs> unless you know anything else. No, really I don't know anything else. And that's the reason I like that storyline. I, I mean, I, I, I like that matchup because I wasn't sure. You know, Becky Lynch does such a phenomenal job in her off WWE interviews. If you see her in a separate interview, if you, you know, you follow her on social media, she is a master of social media. And I've been saying that for three years now. Um, she did a phenomenal job. But even I, and I didn't want to know. I mean, I could have picked up the phone and asked a question, but I didn't want to know because that would take the fun out of it for me. But I didn't see a heel or baby face. And granted, it was, okay, you got two heels there. But I found that to be a really interesting story. Kenny Omega? Who hates Kenny Omega? Not the, not the, not the fan base that he's wrestling in front of, that's for sure. I mean, nobody, not Meltzer. Nobody, <laughs> he's playing the role of a heel, I guess. I don't watch him enough to know. But if Kenny Omega is in the, is he in this heel category, what the hell? That just, I think that just proves my point. I mean, people love him. The fan, his fan base loves him. The audience that watches AEW loves him. They'll boo, I guess, if they're supposed to, because they're, they they have the Pavlov's dog kind of thing going on. Because the audience wants to be a part of the show, and the audience knows their role in the show. But come on, Kenny Omega, a heel? I'm sorry, I don't see that. 